Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're going to be back with some classic fixed with blizzards. I will be the anonymous yellow fellow. The anonymous yellow fellow from Mexico. I'm hoping to get a good spawn with some funky blizzards. I'd love to see Ukraine and Middle East both chopped in half. Neither of them. Okay. But, oh my god! Okay, I have the god spawn for Europe right now. I go second last. I get five troops on the first turn. I have a absolute monstrous god spawn for Europe. The only downside is if I take it turn one, green gets six troops on the first turn. He's also rocking a Mexican flag. And I bet you he doesn't like his fellow countrymen, because I'm wearing the Mexican flag, taking this right away. So he can make a 12 stack and completely ramdingle me. And I don't want to feel that. I don't want to know what that tastes like. But I am friends with blue. And I am friends now with green. So our opponents, by the way, we have Proud Conjurer rocking the Ukraine flag. We've got General Leon from Sideways France, a.k.a. the Netherlands. Blue also has a god spawn for North America. A Doyle rules! Thank you, RJ, for the gifts out for Vampire Chicken. Uh, he wants through. I mean, there's no real way to make that work properly, but whatever. Uh, we've also got regular Eggman 2042 with the Spanish flag. I, it wouldn't be a normal game of Classic Fixed if there wasn't a Spanish flag. What? Red just smoked a purple four stack right away. As I said, it wouldn't be a normal Classic Fixed game without the Spanish flag. He literally turned one smacked a four stack of purple for no reason. They're not even in the same bonus or going for anything. What a special, special game we have already. Okay, we've got Bloomberries from United States of America, and we've got General Chekhov from Mexico. Purple saying thanks. Um, interesting. I don't really have a good turn one card that allows Blue to do this three on one. So I want him. I want to allow him to do this, but I don't really have a card that lets that work. Like, bringing this three out, I don't enjoy that. Wait, did he quit? Hello, everybody. I'm here. Maybe he's a Nigo Montoya, and Purple was the one that pissed him off. And uh, he got his head in, and he left. He's like, I'm done. My life's goal is complete. <laughs> Typical Spain player. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the least aggressive Spain player hitting a four stack on turn one. Why didn't he full ram dingle? Okay, Pink's got, what? A little bit in Africa. Oh, he's stacking in for Australia. Okay. So blue's got North American claim. Pink has Australia claim. Green does get six troops on the first turn. And I think he's going to go for South America. Okay, now I actually do have a way to do this. And I will back off for blue. And that here. And then I'll give Blue a thumbs up. We're starting with an Artillery, too. Great card. Give Blue the thumbs up. Let him know we're friends. This is a spawn of all spawns for this Europe. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Oh, man. You're just going to smoke a four stack on turn one, dog? Might as well give him a thumbs up. Right? He's doing it. No matter what, it's done. At least... I'm not happy about it, but I sent him a thumbs up on the sole purpose of making him think, okay, he's he's okay with it. Because if he thinks I'm mad, we might have a war here. But if he thinks I'm okay with it, and I give him a thumbs up, this war might never happen, and we might be friends. So I'm going to accept that. I know my butt hurts, but I'm going to accept that and try to be friends. Oh, I really didn't like that, though. <laughs> Oh my god. It's the mind games when you win the game. You killed my father, prepare to die. Wait, Purple's also adding into Australia. He added to make it a 7 so he could 7 on 3 and escape, maybe? He's signaling Pink to let him out. I don't know if Pink's the kind of... Like, Pink can't do anything with his 3. So here's something. So Purple wants to get out of Australia so Pink can take it without hitting him. But here's the problem. Pink's 3 does has nowhere to go to get out of his way. So he just threatened Pink's three stack. Pink might be like, oh yeah? Boom. Pink is going to have a 14. He might seven and then four and a fortify in. Like this, this might kick off. 
Wait, I opened this for blue. I opened this for blue and he didn't take it. Okay. Do I take Europe this turn? It's very greedy to take Europe already, right? Like, very greedy. Red is a bot, yep. So, okay, so Spanish player enters the game, slams purple four stack, leaves the game. Just a regular Eggman from 2042. Maybe that's what... He, he's from 2042, and he came back in time to do that move. And that has now butterfly affected the next 19 years. And now we're going to have different leaders of countries. Uh, no world war, no global famine. And it's maybe it saved us from extinction, right? He came back and all he had to do was one simple eight on four in a video game called Risk, which changes my opinion. And then I, it ripples, right? Ripple effect. We, we all see that together. We all live different lives going forward. He has just altered time. So props to him for saving all our lives. Respect, much love. And then I'm um, backing off. Should have got it in my bonus earlier. I got two artillery. I'm probably going to get my bonus broken, but I'm going to try to hold. Give blue a thumbs up and give green a thumbs up. I'm hoping we can be friends. This is an early take. I'm on 19 troops and I'm only in the middle. And Australia. Wait, the red bot added seven to Australia. You guys are right. I didn't see that. This is a fiesta town. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Well played. Well played. And that guards this too for me, right? If he comes out. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, yes. So now anybody that wants to break me has to go through the red two and my three or a bunch of red stuff and my three. Or green, like... Oh, he's, he, he's like, screw this. I'm hitting your three and escaping. Purple sees the writing on the wall, because he's about to lose his position in North America. And this is all he's got left other than Madagascar. <laughs> yep, give him a thumbs up. Yep, I'm friends with Blue, and hopefully he fortifies to Kamchatka, and we're good. Oh, even down here. Yeah, he doesn't trust Green. This is even better, because now these guys have a little bit of tension. I have no tension. And Green and me have already been thumbs-upping and sending hearts and love and, you know... I write them sometimes. Green wants me to hit blue. No, bro. Come on. Don't bark orders at me right now. I've got... Don't do it. Oh. I'm going to pretend I didn't see his message. Right? Maybe he won't think I'm betraying him. I just... I didn't see his message. What if I accidentally don't take a card? Oh, three on one lose? Is daddy time? The bot may add more in here. Like, if I pretend that I, I, my, my turn's going to run out, and then all of a sudden I add my troops in the last second, maybe he doesn't think that... Like, if I don't break blue, green might be mad at me and break me. But if my turn timer's almost ran out, and I don't... He doesn't... I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Right? Like, maybe, I, maybe we just play that game. Interesting strategy. Like, the strategy of... Oops, I didn't see your request to hit blue. So, oops, I couldn't follow your request, so please don't be mad at me. Whereas if I if I just straight ignore him after he let me hold Europe when Blue's stacking on him, he might find that annoying and six on to me. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to make our turn fast. I'm guarding from the bot. I got two artilleries and a cavalry. I'm not buffing this too. If green wants to break me for, for my uh, whatever, then so be it. But I think he's going to hit blue. Oh, baby. If you do the dirty, dirty. He did the dirty, dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't see your alliance communication. It came through really quickly and I wasn't paying attention. Purple's going to be on three cards. Um, oh my god, he's tasting it right now. I mean, if we knock this out, he's got to go through the red... Oh, he's coming out anyways. <gasps> the dice roll destroyed him. Oh, doggy. 
Redbot trades on three and feeds him to me? Or feeds him to pink? Blue trades on three. <gasps> the Ram Dingle reach around back into green. Whoa, baby. How many troops do we all have? Not a lot, right? Now, what is the odds that green has a trade on three and does the reach around right through and does it again, right? Or what are the odds I kill green for his cards? Oh my god. No, please don't break me. Oh my god, you want Australia so bad. Australia, or sorry, Asia. You want Asia so bad that you're going to hit this six. Yes, you are. Oh, baby. Now, you need to knock him out here, too. It's very important for me. I need the easiest kill line possible. Yes, three on one will succeed for me. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yeah. Dude, everything is just coming up for me right now. So, pink, with no trade, has to win lucky dice here or come right through a ton of red to get that kill. Oh, my God. Please, no trade. Is he going to do it? Two, one, 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 two, three, one. He can... F oh, my God. Okay. I kill purple and green. And then what? Pink? Purple and green and pink. Is this a triple kill? Hmm. Purple says good game. He sees what's coming. All right. First off. Oh, I forgot to hit Egypt first, too. Whatever. We kill purple. Now, that's going to give me... Okay, Egypt, Congo, East Africa doesn't have access. Egypt's good. Fine. I need to make sure this is enough to go through. And then I also need to kill pink next with my trade, right? Can I do that? Can't answer the phone right now. Sorry. Okay. Bear with me. Now, do I get enough to kill pink is the question. That's not a big trade. Is there a Middle East here? There is the Middle East. Now, do I go for the pink kill? I need a 12 to get here at least. And then what do I need here? Like an 8? 7, 6? It's really tight. Rez only got one card. Oh, baby, I want the Peru plus two, because that's in here with my seven. We're going to give Blue the old uh, better position. I guess we'll just ram dingle him and uh, let the cards fall where they may. Good game, bro. Give him the fist bump. And we'll bring this three out here. We will kill red before blue. That's my goal. Because blue should get second. That was a sick, sick turn. Fixed cards when you just min-max and try the stuff. Oh, baby. Oh, we like it tight. Oh, man. That's that's well played. And I'll give him a well played there. Yeah, we're going to just smoke the red bot, get blue the second. We'll check the ranks out. This was a juicy boy fast, fast game. Oh, my God. That Europe spawn. He saw exactly what I was doing when I stopped killing him. He knew exactly what was going on there. Yeah. Okay. So, eliminate red. Eliminate the threat. That's my boy. And we go kill blue. Absolute banger game. Oh my god. Pink kill was so scary, I know. 
Well, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to play those aggressive, crazy styles, and they fail occasionally, but when they work, look at that. That was so beautiful. Sick. All right, we had a couple novices, beginners, and an intermediate. That was a great game. Jesus, thank you guys for hanging out to the end of the video. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I got more risk right above my head. This one's probably a banger.